you are running while holding your gown and when you bumped into someone a little as you looked at her and made an apologetic face sorry mama you said in hurry and she shook her head carefully otherwise you will be limping in whole wedding you still run without caring okay mama you replied and she exclaimed when you see this girl always in a hurry she mumbled and walked i want to see in her first i know she will be looking beautiful i will tease oppa she mumbled while walking hurriedly you are too into yourself when you stopped as you felt your dress got stuck into something as you turned to see and the man was back facing you talking on the phone and your gown got stuck in his watch and you slapped your head and walked towards him excuse me as he slowly looked at you and you felt your heart skip a beat he also looked at you and you both said each other for a while and it was so filmed that everything around you both faded and air is the main character the way he it was playing with your hairs and yes spell wings again once again after a long time and it was so unexpected that you didn't imagine nor he did and he smiled softly as he looked down before looking back at you and you looked away as a body rushed with nervousness how are you he asked in his raspy voice and he looked at him slowly i i am good how are you you said slowly as his gaze is intimidating you good you nodded and there is a silence for a while and he just stared you sending shivers to your spine and when he is about to speak you cut it off him by pointing at his watch my you said pointing at his watch as he looked at it and he walked near him i'll take it out while he just watched you you are do you try to untangle your dress but you don't know that it got stuck badly as you tried your best and when his cold hand touched yours as you looked at him and he is approaching you let me you know that as he could quickly take your hands back and he is untangling in a little harshly when you spoke easily you speak as he looked at you don't tear it it's my favorite dress he lowly said and he smiled a little shaking his head after he untangled it thank you you're welcome there is again a silence for a while you why in someone called your name as you realized i need to go before he could say anything you walked away she was beautiful back then but now he blew out putting an honest face and smiled so only she turned around and her lips curled up into a bright smile why now you walked towards her and while adoring you are looking so pretty she smiled thank you and you are looking very beautiful you just smiled and hugged her can i take a picture with you she chuckled of course why not you excitedly hugged her again i will tease oppa he is trying to see you he 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 she blushed when you take pictures with him and when someone came in and you both hello auntie you greeted her and she smiled and kissed your cheek you are looking so pretty dear you just smiled shyly thanks and when she walked near so many so many looked at her with hope is he coming she asked and she remained silent and so me stomp her foot spouting oh ma what kind of a jerk son is yours like seriously today is my wedding her real sister's wedding and he doesn't have time for me i have a doubt you had picked him from dust from somewhere her mother is right in and you just watched her shock so me cut it off when someone cleared shot as his hands were in pocket and leaning against her <clears throat> talking about me she looked at him uninterestedly before speaking yes talking about you and when she realized and looked again he raised his you she said in shock as he walked near and you couldn't process what is happening yes me he mischievously said and so me punched him in tiny you jerk 
He chuckled while rubbing her as he hugged her. That's why you were calling me to hit me like this. Of course, she broke the hug and twisted his ear while he groaned. No, na. After calling so many days, now you have come, huh? On wedding day, like a guest, she scolded when their mother stopped them from cat fighting. Stop you both. So me leave him. That's how you welcome him. She said, det- detaching him from her as Jungle grabbed his ear. He came to meet you. So me side eyed on him as she looked at his ear, which she twisted. Show me, she said as he looked at her squinting, and she hugged him. Dog, she mumbled and Jungle rolled his eyes as they broke the hug. Don't mind them. They are just like that only. She said to you, and you give him a small smile. And when Jungkook's eyes shift to you, and you both have an eye contact, and you don't know, he looked back at her sister while almost dead glaring at her. Wine, come meet my little chunky brother Jungkook. And Jungkook, she is Yoon's sister Wine. She introduced, and you both looked at each other awkwardly. Jungkook say hello to her. While well, he just stood there, and we don't also don't know what to say, and so me smile nervously. Don't mind him; he is just a little bit introvert. She said to clear the awkwardness in the environment. But then he walked near you, and you played with your fingers in nervousness. Hello, he said, extending to you hand, and you hesitated a bit and looked at so me and Mrs. John, who was looking at you both, and you accepted his hand. Hello. And you quickly took your hand back while he just shook his head. Jungkook, Wayan, come, let's take a picture. Come, Uma. She shook her head. No, I have lots of work. She denied and saw me roll her eyes. Wayan, come. She said, pulling you as Jungkook also walked. She took two, three selfies but didn't like any as she changed her place and again started clicking. Wayan smiled. Jungkook, come a little closer. You are not left. Fitting in the frame, Jungkook exhaled as he bent down a little, shifting more near you but maintaining distance. Then you don't feel uncomfortable, but still he is doing something as he cl- uh, you clutch your dress tightly. And she clicked picture. I'm looking beautiful, right, Jungkook? He hummed in his response while his eyes fixed on you. Very beautiful, and her eyes are somewhere else. When Somi's friend come to meet her, and she got busy in them. And you looked at Jungkook just to find him looking at you. I'll take a leave. You walked as Jungkook speaks, but you ignore because you're feeling nervous. Jungkook kept following you, and you felt weird. Why he's following you? But choose to ignore. But when you he held your wrist, can't you hear me? He said as you looked at him. What do you want? You replied, and he shook his head as he lifted up his other wrist. And when you saw your dress extended, piece stuck in his watch, and you looked at him and he gave you a look. Do you think me as creep? He asked, and you look at the side. No, coldly, and he sighed as he started untangling it. I think your dress likes me, he said, and you looked at him unbelievably, and he peeked at you mischievously, smiling. Then he said and looked at you. At least something which belongs to you, like me," he said mischievously, smiling. And you just glared at him. You're about to walk, but he held your wrist and pulled you back. And he took a few steps closer to you, deep staring into your eyes. And you gulped. Why do you run away from me always? He asked, raising brows. And while you gulped hard before speaking, I'm not running away from you. You replied coldly as he tried to free your hand, but his grip is way more tighter. You were running. You had ran away that day too, and still running away. He said with intensity. Jungkook kneeled down in front of you, and you felt your heart in your throat. Everyone around there cheered as he extended flower bouquet. Will you be my girlfriend? Everyone started cheering more than he gestures. Come on! They cheered while you clutched your dress, and he tilted his head, waiting for your answer. Will you be my girlfriend, Wayan? 
He asked again and he took a deep breath. No, sorry. And saying this, you ran away from there, making everyone go silent. Jungkook just watched your disappearing figure and shook his head, faintly smiling when someone put hand on his shoulder as he looked up. She is not for you. If you have proposed any other girl, they would accept you. Jungkook smiled and looked in the direction you ran. Even if the gravity doesn't exist on the earth, I would still fall for her. She is for me, not anyone but her. My hand. He leave it while his eyes still fixed as you are about to walk, but he mistakes. You turn and look at him squinting blue. Excuse me? He chuckled and walked near him. Yes, you are. You frowned. What did even I steal? He tilted his head a little. My heart. Can you return that back to me? He whispers in her sticky voice and your heart floods. Or you can just give me yours. You don't know what to say as your cheeks turn pink. But then, hey, why? And she came interrupting me and you looked at her. Hmm? Auntie is calling you. You nodded and walked from there while Jungkook shook his head smiling. Not this time, he mumbled. Somi walked on the castle and looked at Yun and they both smiled shyly. You just adore the couple. Somi is looking beautiful today. He came out of nowhere as Jungkook looked at him who is munching snacks. She is getting married. At least stop now. Tiang chakal na. I was just saying because I am happy for her. Jungkook gave him a look. Suddenly Tiang choked as Jungkook looked at him, passed him water glass and he viciously shake Jungkook. I just saw my hand, he said as he still in shock while Jungkook just smiled and he looked in your direction. I know, she is looking beautiful, Tehang looked at him shocked. You know she is here, he nodded. Yeah, she is Hyungwoo's sister. Tehang chuckled, oh, Destiny is playing hard with you both, Jungkook smiles. Because she is my destiny, he replied while his eyes fixed on you. Do you John so me accept Kim Yoon as your lawfully wedded husband? She looked at him and smiled before speaking. Yes, I do. Everyone clapped. This time I'm not letting her go. The young smiled. Wish you success again. This depends on her. He said looking at Wine who is busy in adoring the couple. Not stopping until she is say yes. The young shrugged his shoulder. You felt a known presence behind you as you looked there is some guy who gave a smile didn't sound good as you moved a little because you felt uncomfortable and he again moved closer to you which made almost losing your temper because you want to slap him hard but you can't create a scene during the special day of your brother. You moved a little and looked for someone and when Tehang waved at you but then Looking for me, he spoke from behind making you flinch as you looked at him and took relief. No, you replied and you looked behind to see that creep guy. But he is not there and you look back at Jungkook who just passed you a soft smile. When you realize, you suppressed your smile and looked at him again smiling slightly. Thanks. And he raised bro. For what? He said as if he doesn't know anything and you gave him blank look. You know what? Only you have the right to look so beautiful. No one can lay eye on you. He whispered and you just flushed as you didn't look at him. You still didn't change. You replied hiding your blush and he raised bows. You also miss pretty lady. He said winking at you and you pressed your lips together to hide your smile. There is post wedding rituals going on all your and Jungkook's family busy in guest service and you walk to your brother. Will you both dance so far? Somi looked at you. I'm tired now. I wanna sleep. You made O face. Can't force her. He sh- shrugged and you chuckled a bit. No worries. You can dance in reception. Somi agreed. Yeah, that would be good. 
what about your performance you were excited she asked and you open your mouth to say something but can't find word um actually what's happening here he just interrupts and so me looked at him finally got the time he nodded kind of he looked at yun so finally meeting you hungu yun smiled as they both hugged yeah always on video call now in person but i have complaints with you that you came on wedding day only he chuckled sorry for that that's okay at least you made it he nodded why not your performance she asked and you looked at him i'm also thinking for reception because it's already late and you know right we have one more event sky latin show for so what you fight with everyone to keep wedding at evening she realized oh yeah how can i forget that yeah i am arrange everything i gave that responsibility to you you smiled yeah i was going to so me hug a little you were the best you smiled as you were about to go chanko go and help her how she will handle everything alone no it's fine show no na cut it off by him why are you following me like a puppy you said and he blocked your way as he looked at you squinting boys are you calling me puppy he poked your inner cheek no i'm not as you are about to walk but again he blocked your way and you glared at him chankok sun me mean cut it off by as he flicked your nose is chankok for you and you gave him blank look what do you want he smiled and walked a little closer you you exhaled as you looked at him i thought you moved on he chuckled a bit move on it's not in my dictionary you shook your head as you were about to walk pull but pulled by him as you bumped into him and your eyes widened as you look around chunk up i let you go once not again he whispered i want to know the reason don't you like me there is something wrong with me that you rejected me you struggled to get your rest out of his grip hmm tell me what's the problem you looked in his eyes there is no problem in you and he walked more closer to you then you look down and then look at him i'm just insecure about your feelings towards me are they really genuine and when you had many beautiful girls in your class then why me he just listen you because he want to know the reason even there is a age gap between us to be really compatible for each other i'm not sure you look down and lastly i'm scared of attachments because i'm not that strong that i can handle one more heartbreak as you look at him and he's looking at you with the intensity anything else you shook your head slowly as you looked down and he made you look at him i'm not interested in your past nor it does matter to me until and unless it's affecting our future he looked in his eyes directly but i will tell you we were very good friends more than friends in high school but one day something broke us when he has to leave this country and me forever i never thought we will separate some day but we did he never looked back at me and it was very difficult for me it was that difficult that i can express i never had friends because i don't know how people match work but mine is not compatible with them i want to be happy alone that no one can break my heart again because it's easy to come and go in someone's life but you never know how other person is attached you proposed me to be your girlfriend i know someday it won't work out and you will leave me you might not be affected but i can't say about myself he was seriously listening it and why so you took a deep breath as you looked down i like you just like all other girls do on your graduation day when you proposed to me it was dream come true to me but you stopped as you look at him i was happy admiring you from distance 
I can't be in any temporary relationship, not even in long distance relationship. You finally spoke your heart out. You know I was leaving. He asked, and you nodded slowly, and he sighed. And you thought I will break your heart. You didn't reply as you looked at the side. Jungkook, he stopped as he looked at you both, and you quickly moved away. Um, sorry to disturb you. Actually, Somi is calling you both upset. As everyone is gathered, you realize you took most bags as much as you can. As you looked at Tehang, Tehang Sun Binim, can you bring remaining? You are softly and he nodded. Sure. You gave him a small smile. Thanks. Saying this, you walked without looking at Jungkook. Well, he just stared you. Are you coming or not? He nodded, as he was lost somewhere in his thoughts. Oh, I'm so excited. As in smile, looking at him. Carefully, don't get burned. So me. Giggle. Nah, I'm experienced. Yoon shook his head. Shh, we will make wish. She excitedly said, and Yoon chuckled. You look for Alia to light your sky lantern, and you spotted her with someone and smiled, looking at her. And you look for someone else who can help you, and you sighed, holding your lantern. When I was looking for a partner, he spoke suddenly, making you flinch as you look at him. Are you also? You nodded and he smiled. Then we are perfect for each other. You didn't react that much. I can help you with your lantern. You simply said, and he smiled and looked at you. Of course you will. If not you, then who? You give him a small smile. Let's light it. You said, taking his lantern as you opened, and he walked near you. Maybe I'm too late to be your first, but I'm ready to be your last. You looked at him, and he is looking at you with intent. Let's make wish together. You will be in my wish, and we will wish for our togetherness forever, just you and me. He spoke with sincere tone. You opened the letter while your eyes fixed in his, as he went on his knees to light the lantern. Nobody stays forever. You spoke out of blue, and he looked at you as he lighted the matches. I'll be a nobody," he replied softly as he lightened the lantern and got up. "Please say yes, or you will say yes after becoming my wife." You shut your eyes, trying to hide your blush as you look at him. "If I still say no," he walked near you. "I'll keep trying till I win your trust and your heart," he said softly, and there's a slight smile appeared on your face. "You won't give up," he shook his. I'm already married to you in my head," he said, chuckling. And you chuckled as you look at him. Trust me, we will make it to end. My love is enough for both of us. You don't have to worry. I will not leave you. You smiled. You gestured him to hold the lantern as he walked near you and hold it. Looked in your eyes. Close your eyes and make wish. He nodded. And you both closed the eyes for a while to make wish. As you both opened eyes and looked at each other, Jungkook's hands pressed against Hyun's, lingering for a moment longer than necessary. The touch sent a small joy through both of them, and they changed a glance that held unspoken words. Ready. Jungkook gasped, and his voice almost a whisper. Ready, Vine replied, her breath hitching slightly. And together they released the lantern. You closed your eyes immediately, folding hands while Jungkook just admired you. As you open your eyes and look in the sky, as the sky is filled with lanterns and smile widely, admiring whole beauty of sky. This is so beautiful. Very beautiful," he said as his eyes fixed on hers. As you looked at him and smiled freely because of the intensity he is carrying in his eyes. The night is special. You look down and then look at him. It's special. You smiled and looked in the sky again. 
And when you hugged your cell as cold breeze touched your skin and when Jungkook put his blazer on your shoulder as you looked at him. Thanks, he smiled. Most welcome. And he rubbed his hands together feeling cold. You just watch him. Oh, my hands are cold. He rubbed them on his pants. And when he took his hand, making his heart skip a beat and intertwine your warm hands in his cold ones. And he just watched you. And you smiled when Jungkook chuckled a bit looking dumb. As he looked back at you and walked closer a little. He said teasingly and you blushed hard. Why and your mom called and you from nowhere and you take your hands back. Coming, you replied as you looked at him one last time before walking. Jungkook smells his hand which you hold and smile internally as he looked in your direction. Family gathered near the entrance where a car awaited for newlyweds and the environment is emotional. Somi hugged her parents tightly, tears glistening her eyes and everyone is so emotional. As you looked at Jungkook whose eyes are glistening and trying hard to hide his emotion and somewhere you also feel emotional as Somi walked near his brother and she smiled with tears and Somi hugged him bursting into tears and tears slid down from his cheeks when he wiped immediately and smiled as he broke the hug and cupped her face. He wiped her tears. You are starting a new chapter of your life. Be happy, okay? She nodded, sniffing as he looked at him. Take care of her, okay? He smiled and nodded. As both sister and brother looked at each other, Somi wiped his tears which is sliding down and your tears automatically slide down looking at them. They hugged each other. Somi burst into tears again where Shankar tried hard to control his emotion. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. And they finally broke the hug. Jungkook wiped her tears, telling her not to cry. And Somi finally bid goodbye as they sit in the car. And Jungkook walked from there and he watched her. My baby, it's time to go. You know that. Ishwaroma, I'll be back. She noted. Be quick. You stopped and you spotted Jungkook who is back facing you. As you walked slowly and hesitated a bit to put hand on his shoulder. And he quickly wiped his tears as he turned and didn't look in your eyes while his eyes are already red. While you just stared him for a while when you hugged him as you kissed his back and he hugged you back as his tears automatically dropped and a low sob left from his mouth which brings tears in your eyes and smiled painfully rubbing his back. It's okay, you mumble softly. She's just a phone call away from you as he broke the hug trying to control his emotion while you wiped his tear which is dropping non-stop and kissed his cheeks gently. She shouted from outside as Jungkook looked at you while sniffing. You should go, I'm okay. He said with heavy thought while looking here and there and you cupped his face making him look at you. Are you sure you are? As he looked in your eyes and you kissed his hair. Please keep smiling. Tears don't suit you. You said wiping his tears and he nodded. Why and your mom is calling you? Stopped as he looked at you both. Jungkook looked at him but you didn't as your eyes fixed on Jungkook and he looked back at you. Everyone was waiting for you. You didn't say a single word when Taehyung speaks. Yes, they are leaving. So waiting for you. You just hum in his response. Yeah, you should go. I'm okay now. You tell your head a little. I'll go. But promise me, you won't cry. He chuckled a little with tears and shook his head. No, I won't. You squinted your eyes a little and you extended your palm and he looked at it and you. Promise? He chuckled again and he intervened his hand in yours and looked at you smiling promise you smile when your mom calls you again jungkook gesture you and you are about to walk but looked at him again you cupped his face and tiptoed and packed his forehead while he looked at you flustered and you smile take care he is blushing so hard if you do like this i won't be able to let you go he whispers and you smile then don't. He raised rose and your mom called you a million times and you both chuckled. 
Bye, take care. He walked near and patted her forehead softly, making you shut your eyes and easily look back at him. You too. You smiled and pulled away. While your eyes landed on who was looking at you, both smiling with dumb face. You walked slowly, but then again you know which made you run and looked at him in rush. Call me when you reach home, he chuckled and nodded. Sure, now go. You'll get in trouble. You chuckle and run.